everybody! Happy Project Frost! Awesome. My name is Sam and I am here today to make my Project for Awesome video. If you don't know what Project for Awesome is, Project for Awesome is a day where a nerdy community comes together to decrease world suck and we do so by raising money for charity and talking about our favorite charity. If you want to learn more, there will be a link in the doobly-doo, also known as the description, that tells you more about Project for Awesome, so check it out there. Today, I would like to tell you about one of my favorite charities, the United Mitochondrial Disease Foundation. UMDF is what you might hear me call it today. And to help me talk about it, I have my friend Grace from A Life Full of Grace and Mito here to help me tell you more about UMDF. So Grace, if you want to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Grace. And um, today I'm going to talk about the United Mitochondrial Disease Foundation. And the UMDF is a nonprofit foundation dedicated to serving the mitochondrial disease community through promoting research and education for the diagnosis, treatment, and cure of all mitochondrial disorders, as well as providing support to affected individuals and families. Wonderful, wonderful. And the reason that Grace and I are here together virtually uh, is because I have COVID. We were actually planning on getting together and doing a real life in-person interview for this 2022 Project for Awesome, um, but the plague had other plans. So I'm gonna ask Grace a couple questions here so we can get a better idea of what UMDF is and how it serves. And I'm sorry if I ever say the initials in the wrong order because there's, it just gets mixed up sometimes. Um, I think the first thing that's kind of important is talking about what the heck is mitochondrial disease, right? Like I think a lot of us know like, mitochondrial disease, the powerhouse of the cell, but what is that and how does that disease look and affect people? So mitochondrial diseases are a group of genetic disorders that occur when the mitochondria fail to produce enough energy for the cells to function properly. This causes cell injury and eventually cell death. Since mitochondria are found in every cell in the body, there's a really so many symptoms of mitochondrial disease. So now we know what mitochondrial disease is and UMDF's mission. So how has UMDF supported you? The greatest way I've been supported is by the UMDF providing a sense of community. Before I was involved with the D UMDF, I never knew anyone else with mitochondrial disease and I felt very alone in my journey. Some other great ways that UMDF has supported me is through their support groups. I attend a regional support group as well as a teen and young adult support group. They also run a symposium every year with two separate parts. One for the clinical um, aspect, which is the researchers and the doctors that treat us. And they also have a patient and family program. Um, the two are at the same time. And I think that's really a valuable um, lesson for researchers and for patients and just for them to get to see what this research is and who it impacts is just really wonderful. Um, another way the UMDF has supported us is through um, their no cost genetic testing program that's currently going on. They're working to help patients identify the genes that is causing their mitochondrial disorders and help get them enrolled in clinical trials. Um, if you think you have mitochondrial disease or if you know someone who may have a mitochondrial disease, visit the UMDS website um, and make sure to participate in their programs like the free genetic testing if you qualify for that, as well as participating in support groups and really just getting a good handle on like a mitochondrial disease. So I just want to take a moment here, you know, towards the end of this video and thank you so much for watching this video, first of all, but also for voting for UMDF last year. Uh, you know, it was just so great. I, I mentioned this last year and I'll mention it again. We're not expecting that every person that watches this go and vote for UMDF for their favorite charity for Project for Awesome, but we are hoping that, you know, mitochondrial disease and UMDF take up a little bit of your brain space and that you give a little bit of your brain space to this disease and to this organization. So if you would like to vote for UMDF, which we would greatly appreciate if you did, you can head to the link in the doobly-doo projectforawesome.com and go vote for UMDF. Vote for this video and um, a bunch of the charities that people made videos for will win funds for those respective charities and it's just a great time had by all. I don't really know where I went there at the end. Yeah, don't forget to be awesome. That's right, DFTBA, we will see you over at the stream. If you wanna know more about what life with mitochondrial disease is like, you can read my blog at graceandmito.com. 
and we didn't even like celebrate that like you don't have heart failure or anything like I know <laughs> right like I feel like people don't you know she just had a heart surgery I had heart failure now I do not <laughs> right like this is a big deal <laughs> yeah big deal <laughs> big deal I was dying now I'm not I am alive 